So in the New Jersey legislature, a bill was proposed to basically end the torture of pregnant pigs. So it would mandate that businesses in New Jersey only buy meat from producers that don't engage in, quote, the confinement of animals in an enclosure or of any sow during gestation in a manner that prevents the sow from turning around freely, lying down, standing up, or fully extending the limbs of the animal. So let me give you a little bit more backstory on this so you know exactly what we're talking about here. Uh, in factory farming, it is a common thing for uh, different animals to basically be cooped up in as tight of an area as you can possibly imagine because the more animals you can squeeze in an area, the more profit you're going to make. So you have a financial incentive to do said action, even though said action is fairly unethical according to most reasonable human beings. So the idea was in New Jersey, how about we propose a bill that says that our businesses here in New Jersey do not purchase from any of the factory farms that engage in some of the worst practices, the worst being like they're describing, where there's a pregnant sow, they don't give them any room to move whatsoever. So very simple, very straightforward bill. Bob Seska of the Daily Banter explains the situation like this, quote, Nearly all factory pig farms use a contraption called a gestation crate or sow stall. It's a narrow medieval enclosure where sows are kept almost immobile, literally unable to turn around, lay down, or generally move. Consequently, sows are perpetually terrified, exhibiting repetitive behavior such as gnawing on the metal crate bars while obviously suffering from elevated stress hormones. Corporate pig growers insist this is the best way to guarantee fertilization and successful pregnancies, but experts and many food service companies have refuted such claims and categorically denounced the practice for what it is, cruel and unusual. So what did Chris Christie do when he was presented with a bill to stop New Jersey businesses from buying from the worst of the worst facilities? He's saying he's going to veto it. Now, the thing that should pop in your mind, it certainly popped into my mind as I was going through the different articles on this, is why? why? It seems like such a simple thing and such a, you're not asking for anything serious. You're just saying, how about you give these poor pigs an extra five feet to allow them to just turn around and not be cooped up in the exact same position for hours or days at a time. You're not asking for much. You don't need to be a crazy PETA animal rights activist in order to be on the page of not torturing poor animals like this in the worst possible situations. So why would he do it? Why would he do it? Well, here's your answer. The factory farms are in Iowa. Iowa is the first stop when you run for president. So Chris Christie would rather do something that literally endorses pig torture than for a second sacrifice an opportunity to be president of the United States. And here's the other sad reality to this situation. Polling shows that over 90% of the American people say, yeah, end the pig torture. And even polls in Iowa, the people of Iowa wouldn't hold it against Chris Christie if he signed this bill. But nonetheless, just to make sure he doesn't want the word to spread around the corporate elite, the farming elite in Iowa, that, well, this guy's not on our side. Because then, of course, money affects the election as well. He's pro he probably wants money from them. He, pro he wants something from them where he doesn't want to step on their toes even a little bit to stop pig torture. That right there shows you the value system of Chris Christie, and that right there unfortunately shows you the way that American politics functions. It's more about the money, it's more about listening to the people with the power, and the people who own the companies and corporations and big businesses. It's more about that than it's ever been about common sense, or looking out for the good of the people, or listening to the democratic opinion of the people. This is a perfect example right here, and everybody should be outraged by this.